and welcome back again in another requested video and requested cool engine I will be making right now the F16 D3 engine the 1.6 liter uh, this this is a Chevrolet engine uh, it has let's see it has a cast iron block the where is it what is it the bore is 79 yes and the stroke is 81 and a half 81 and a half right perfect and uh, let's see it has has I think yes I think it has dual overhead cam but let me yes two camshafts with uh, 16 valves it has aluminium head no variable valve lift Cast, cast, cast. Uh, let's let's stay at zero. And let's see what else. Uh, this engine has 9.5 to one. It has a, a regular camshaft. No variable valve timing. Or, do, or does it have variable valve timing? Hmm. Well, it's not really shown here if it has a variable valve timing. No, it doesn't have. So it's naturally aspirated. It has a direct injection with single standard. The engine is running on 91. Yes. The engine I think doesn't need that much fuel. Let's try like let's try it like this. Short cast. The engine makes. Let's see. The engine makes 109 horsepower. So yes, I don't I, I don't need that much of big exhaust then it's making uh, 110 pound feet mm -hmm. so th this engine is weak so let, let's make it let's make it good first of all the engine the rpm is good and what else do we need um, no, it doesn't need like this. Let's try and play with the ignition timing. So we have to boost this engine up to 109. 109 um, horsepower. Yes, like this. Alright, 109, and we need the torque. We need the torque to get a little higher. So let's see, 109, 110 pound feet. That's correct. Alright, that well, that was easy. The engine wasn't really that much hard to make. Mm -hmm. Now let's keep it like this. So plus five, only the camshaft and everything else is zero. So this engine we did that is 41 man hours. Hmm, that's good. The engine the engine doesn't use doesn't need that much of of an octane. Uh, it's somehow economic and uh, smoothness and responsive. This is good. Everything is good. All right, and the engine is reliable too. So let's hear it and see what the hell does it sound.
All right, guys. The engine is running smooth. The engine is reliable. The engine is uh, working great. It sounded great. I mean, uh, if I want really to play with the, with the engine, make it make it a little bit uh, yes, like this, so I can make it a little bit ec econo ec economic. Economy, yes. This way, I can increase the economy. Right. This way. I'm gonna try and make the yes, like that. So, so I'm using so little fuel. A little fuel is now injected in the un into the engine. The ignition timing is so advanced, and this way I can gain higher, uh, higher, higher fuel economy, which is good. And what else do we need to do here to make this engine more, more economic? All right, let's use plus one here. No, no need here. Um. Yes, like this, the liability will be better like this. Alright, let's hear it again! The engine does really sound very very good. I mean, um, at at low RPM, it does sound like a like a Hyundai uh, inline four engine. But at top RPM here, it sounded really really good. I mean, this is a regular engine. This is not a performance engine or racing engine. This is an econo economic city running day daily driving. Uh, um, it's not really cheap to make. I mean, it, it will cost 1,150 bucks for materials, and it will need 42 hours or to make. But really, really, this engine really is good. I mean, it has direct fuel injection, which is which is awesome. It's it's better than uh, the normal AFI. The engine is uh, somehow smooth. It's really good. It has really good reliability. Uh, now it's uh, now it has really good e e economy. I mean, this engine is perfect, and it's 108 kilograms only, so it's also a bit lightweight. It's not really that much heavy. I mean, yes, it can go heavy, it can go lighter if you use a, an aluminium block and uh, forge internals, and if you want to use a better uh, header here and a better exhaust system and a better components. That way, you can make it really, really lighter, lighter than 108. But it's really good for its size, and 100. Near, nearly 110 horsepower for in 1.6, which is good. It's a normal city daily driving running run one day to day engine. So let, let's name it and save it and move to the other requests from you guys. So this is the this is the F right. This is the F16 D3 one. Let's see dash. Where's the dash? All right here you go. Uh, 1.6 liters. Yes, 1.6 liter Chevy. And uh, what's the horsepower? 109 horsepower, which is good. I'm gonna write here normal cast 
dual overhead cam right and save so thank you guys for watching thank you so much for this cool request i mean i like daily driving uh, engines i mean performance engines are really awesome seeing the horsepower seeing the, the red glowing header here but you know making a daily driving engine is a very very good uh, experience thank you so much guys for watching if you like this video please hit that like button don't forget please don't forget to hit that like button also, uh, if, you, if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and hit the subscribe button. And if you have a if you have a cool request, an engine request or a car request, please feel free and write it in the comment section. And please, before write it, uh, please check if, aut if automation can support this engine because not uh, not every engine can automation support. So uh, some, so far the superchargers are not yet here, and the twin turbo chargers for all inline say, or for all inline engines are not available yet. Only single so turbo chargers for the inline and twin turbo chargers for the v engines uh, also also guys if you if you can check the facebook page and uh, because all the videos are over there if you want to request also engines you can you can type a, a post or a, a comment in the facebook page also you can check out my patreon channel because uh, I have also I have a patreon page for this channel I can post some behind the scenes and some uh, features and uh, some future stuff I'm gonna make in, in the in, in soon if you're really interested in that so again thank you so much guys for watching I will see you in another cool video stay tuned because uh, I'm gonna make another video after this and another one after it because the requests from you guys are not stopping which is awesome all right stay tuned bye bye